Let's talk about the first two Home Alone movies. Well, first, let me say something about Home Alone 3. It's awful. It's god-awful. Extremely god- It's really god-awful. Oh, but... Uh, let me talk about the first two ones. And... But, uh... Oh, uh, we already know the story about the, uh, the first two Home Alone uh, movies. They're basically the same kind of story. Or a little boy uh, named Kevin McAllister. Or uh, is, like, alone for Christmas. Oh, it's because he, uh, wishes something onto, like, his pa like his parents disappear and stuff. <coughs> well, <coughs> sorry. Right, in the first film, uh, Kevin McAllister, or uh, played by Ke uh, probably Macaulay Culkin, uh, basically wishes for his parents to disappear because he f feels unloved. Uh, while two burglars, played by uh, Daniel Stern and Joe Pesci, Oh yeah, are basically, are trying to rob houses, and the one house they want to rob is Kevin McAllister's house. Oh, the mother, uh, the mother of the fell, on play by Catherine O'Hara from Nightmare Before Christmas and Bartok the Magnificent. Or, or, uh, realizes that she left Kevin alone, on at the house, and then, on um, she flies back from Paris all the way back to uh, Scranton, and then, on a guy played by jo John Candy, or it brings him. And brings her, tries to bring her back home, oh, because he's on his way to Milwaukee. Wait, so, oh, uh, the first film, I do really think it's a very charming, like, funny, like, Christmas movie. Oh, the, uh, the acting is very good. Oh, the music by John Williams is really good. Oh, I mean, it's not his best, like, Star Wars or some of the other films he's done, but it's very nice. Wait, so, so, uh. Uh, but I think there's a lot of charm to the characters. Or is there a lot of funny stuff in the film as well? The second one, everyone agrees, is basically a cheap cash in. I think I personally like it better than the first film. Um, in this film, we have Tim Curry. And, wait, wait, well, in this film, um, um, Kevin McAllister uh, basically wants a vacation of his own. So he gets one in New York City. So he stays at the uh, the Plaza Hotel, uh, and uh, uh, while his family are in uh, New York City, no, in uh, in Miami, and we get a really funny scream reaction from the mother. Oh, she's like, "Come on!" and then she faints. That's hilarious. Every time I see that part, so. Oh um, I mean, she, I mean but um, so Kevin does stay at the hotel. The manager, played by Tim Curry. Oh yeah, of course, is one of the antag is sort of one of the antagonists. Oh, he has um an assistant played by Rob Schneider, who's also very funny. Yeah, um basically Oh yeah, um Kevin one uses his father's credit card and then they and then uh Tim Curry's character uh finds out that uh that he that the credit card is stolen. Oh, and, and of course there's a lot of very funny scenes in in the movie as well. Oh, there are a lot of, I mean, um, no, uh, what do you call it? Oh, then after that he gets scared away, and then they come, and then he does to come across the uh the two bad guys from the first film. Um, so basically they're trying to rob a toy store, or in this film, on trying to steal all the money, all from the cash registers and the uh the donation box. So Kevin does come across an old lady in this film, like how he came across the old man in the first film. So, honestly, I think Kobolo 2 is fun. I think it's funnier than the first, and I think it's even entertaining. I think it's just as entertaining as the first one is. But, sure, it is the same thing as the first one, but I personally don't mind because it's just so funny and it's so entertaining. So, oh, um, uh, the traps that he sets up for the bad guys is hilarious, especially coming from Daniel Stern, who... Oh, it's my favorite thing in the in these the entire in these movies. He is so funny. Joe Pesci does get a few laughs, but if you see him in mafia movies, or he's particularly Martin Scorsese films, you're well, he gets super aggressive. Uh, so, uh, uh, so yeah, all the characters are great in this movie. Uh, I personally think Home Alone Two is better than the first film, but do not watch the third one. I just gave my my throat, on my uh, my opinion. It's completely awful. Oh, very little connection to the first film. Oh, and nowhere close to being funny. Not as bad as as Christmas of the Cranks. 
it's, or, it's almost as bad as, <coughs> sorry, it's almost as bad as, um, what do you call it, as Santa Claus 3, though. Oh, but still, it's, it's awful. But if you have seen the first two films, what did you think? Just comment below, follow me on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram, to click like in the video, don't forget to subscribe and share the video, and I will, I'm the Boss Joy Critic, and I will see you later on. Take care.